Hi guys, welcome back to Byte Review. Today we're looking at a 4K 32 inch monitor, the BenQ EW3270U. But is 32 inches too big for a regular desk setup? Well, I spent about a month with this monitor, so let's take a deeper look. Let's get started with the build and design of this monitor. I actually don't mind the look of it, and a lot of people have mentioned that bezels could have been a bit smaller, and yeah, sure, they could have been, but I think the brushed metal plastic design is a lot nicer than a lot of the just standard black that you get. There's holes in the back of the monitor as well if you want to mount it, which is something I think I might do for a bit of a cleaner overall look. There are some speakers built into either side of it as well, which sound okay, but to be honest, you'll be wanting to get some real ones if you're planning on having a better overall sound experience. As mentioned before, this is a 3840x2164K panel, and 4K footage on this monitor looks absolutely stunning. I think coming from a 1080p panel has really made me see the difference even more. It's nice to finally see footage from my A6300 coming out in its full 4K majesty. The screen does use VA or vertical alignment technology, which makes it great for content consumption. Movies look utterly engrossing and immersive with HDR10 support built in. Blacks are inky deep thanks to a 3000 to 1 contrast ratio. Colours pop nicely without being overbearing, and at 300 nits it's plenty bright enough for any day-to-day -day use. Smartly, BenQ have put HDR into a physical button so you can turn it on or off depending on your use rather than running through some menus. A common drawback from VA panels is the viewing angles aren't the best, and that's true here too, with some washout when you're not looking directly at the screen. However, it's probably rare you'll sit at an angle to your PC, so it might not be an issue for you at all. In terms of I.O., BenQ has you covered pretty well. Two HDMI 2 ports, one USB-C, and a DisplayPort 1.4 should be more than enough to keep you connected, and not to mention it's also powered by a standard kettle lead, which means there's no transformer box to go along with it. I really like that, it's a nice way of reducing clutter under the desk. It is worth noting that the USB-C input doesn't deliver power though, which is a bit of a shame if you're using a new MacBook to run the screen off. BenQ are also looking out for those eyeballs too with some nicely built in care features. If you spend a long time in front of a monitor, which I certainly do when I'm editing, you'll appreciate the brightness intelligence setting which can be toggled from the front of the monitor. This detects the ambient light around you and adjusts the display accordingly. It's a nice feature to have. There's also some low blue light tech built in and the monitor is flicker free so you don't strain your eyes deep into those evening sessions. In the menus there's a bunch of choices for colour profiles too, and I've generally found the MBook or MacBook one to be the most pleasing for me. I'm not a huge PC gamer, but the 4 millisecond response time of the panel feels really snappy and responsive for the gaming that I did try. I didn't notice any input lag, which is always good stuff. I'll be the first to admit though, my out of date GTX 760 really isn't a good match for any form of 4K gaming, so I really can't show you any mind blowing graphics. Also, an added bonus for AMD users out there is the addition of FreeSync support. I mentioned content consumption earlier, but where this monitor really comes to life, at least for me, is in content creation. I use a lot of Premiere Pro, and on my older 22-inch monitor, I'd be constantly moving windows around so I could see the video preview and get enough space to work on the timeline. But on this 32-incher, it's so easy to have everything open at all times and not have to move windows around. I honestly can't describe to you how useful it is to have a massive long timeline to work on. It's just a pleasure to edit video on, and I really can't get over that. It's also a great screen for doing colour grades on. I'm trying to up my colour grades and I've done some of my favourite ones on this monitor and I think that could be thanks to the fact that it's got really good colours compared to my older one. So is 32 inches too big? Well, for me at least, no, and I think going back to anything smaller might just feel a bit weird now. The fact that it's 4K, I think you'd really want to go for something that's at least 27 inches or bigger, otherwise you're really probably not going to see the benefit of having a 4K at all. It's also worth noting that my desk is pretty huge and having this monitor there is just about okay, but I think if you had a smaller desk or a smaller space it might just feel a bit overbearing. And you've got to have plenty of depth on there as well. At the moment the monitor is just kind of hanging off the edge and that's kind of good for my eyes. And you want to make sure you've got the sweet spot for sitting with it too. There can be little bits of colour fade towards the edges of the monitor if you're not quite sitting right, which can be a little bit off-putting. So that rounds off my thoughts on the BenQ EU3270U. If you enjoyed the video, do pop a like, and I will see you all in the next one.